show you something that I'm getting ready to do or I've been doing. I didn't record a lot of it um, simply because I forgot. <laughs> um, so back in 2020 when I got cancer, I had planned to make some horizontal hives. Um, I'm going to make three different ones, a Langstroth Long, a Layens Hive, or actually four. A Langstroth Long, a Layens Hive, uh, the other one that's I think it's the Zutin and then I'm going to make a hybrid the hybrid is basically going to be my own design um, some ideas that I have this is the Langstroth long um, going to be really simple to to make this is made out of three quarter inch lumber um, this is basically the front and the back are 50 inches long they are rough cut lumber the sides are 20 inches by 11 and an eighth so these ends are 50 by 11 and an eighth um, on the top of the back you need a 3 8 depth rabbit that is three quarters of an inch deep on the inner edge you need the exact same thing 3 8 deep by three quarters depth on the front edge and then you also need a rabbit 3 8 by 3 quarters all the way around the bottom of the edge when that is done you're going to be left with about 10 uh, 10 and 5 8 space at the bottom you can kind of see there in the corner I got a deep hive frame laying there I still have plenty of space in the bottom that's going to be just fine that the bottom of the frame is actually slightly above where the rabbits at where the floors at um, I could have maybe done this a little bit narrower but I wanted to have plenty of space I also put three entrances on here although I'll probably only ever have one open at any one time I'm going to make a block that I can basically swing open and close as needed on these entrances I probably only will ever have the end one open there will be a divider board and so what I'm doing now is I'm getting this kind of like semi permanently stood up I needed to make sure and check the depth of my frames that's good I can go ahead and glue this up uh, and finish putting the bottom in and then start working on the rest of it so that's kind of where I'm at right now I want to go ahead and get this glued up I'll bring you back probably when I measure for the uh, floor and that sort of thing kind of show you how I do that but uh, anyways thanks for watching and here if you can see it <clears throat> I basically just went in and put glue at each joint three screws i pre-drilled keep the wood from splitting all the way around it and that one over there too so i'll let this set up and then i'll go ahead and measure everything to get the bottom now that i've got it glued up i also want to go ahead and stick a frame back in here just to make sure that all my clearances and everything look correct still I'm sure they do but you know if you you build stuff you just kind of get used to doing this all the time you can see there that we fit we got about an eighth of an inch of play back and forth maybe a sixteenth of an inch see it here on the end so we are good all the way down through here Now it's just a matter of waiting this on this to set up before I can do the next step. And now I've got the bottom in it. So I'll let this uh, glue dry up and then I'll chip it off or something later. It's put, it has one side is kind of flat and the other side is really rough. See if I can see how you can see that down through there. Each one of those is a groove so I put that rough cut on the inside including on the floor 
all the inside pieces that way the bees can propolize that and uh that'll give them a rough texture for that propolis to stick to the other thing is by me using rough sawn lumber although most people think this is probably three quarter inch thickness is actually one full inch so i kind of bought a little bit because what you're supposed to do this is sold in like a true one by 12 by whatever length and then you're supposed to finish it down so once all this sets up i wanted to get it done today because there's calling for more rain over the next couple of days and i wanted to get this glued up before the humidity got here but uh next th step to do is going to be to go ahead and get the lid support on which goes all the way around it and then i'll get the legs on it need to excuse the mess but last night i was out here working literally in the dark with a flashlight trying to get this built i got pretty much everything done now except for the lid <laughs> um anyways once you have the basic box shape it's just getting some legs I put a lid support all the way around it and now I'm getting ready to make the lid go ahead and do a quick update here so I went ahead and made the uh, frame for the top there's my Gabriel in I'll put a uh, vent hole on either end here and I've already got the hinge installed so everything works perfectly the hinges are on the front where your entrance is at and uh, I'll probably take and put I've got some really thin like quarter inch plywood I'll probably put like quarter inch plywood on this just to give it some more support and then uh, I just now measured I made this Gabriel in kind of tall and I'll tell you why the way that this is set up my b space so my frames will sit here then i'll have like a cover board and i haven't decided if i'm just going to use planks or if i'm going to actually build like a inner cover in two or three sections or whatever we'll sit on top of this to give it the b space between the top of the frames and here but i wanted to have enough room that i could put a feeder here either like a quart mason jar or sometimes i use the circular ones that you can put sugar in or fondant but i wanted to be able to put a feeder in here and i have another idea too that i'm going to do i may actually put some inch to inch and a half foam board just to kind of shade this somewhat because we get pretty hot in the summertime and uh so I did make this a little bit taller than what most people make. But uh, we'll see how it turns out. I'm pretty excited. I've already tested the frames fit. Like I've just got miscellaneous stuff to do now. Finish the roof decking. Put the sheet metal on, which I still got to go by. Uh, I'm probably going to do some sort of an entrance board here. I'm not really sure. Landing board. Uh, finish my top cover planks and put my vents in. And I'm pretty much done. I got plenty of frames for this. Boxes and boxes and boxes of frames. So uh, we'll update in a little bit. Still have to put the entrance landing board on it. But it's pretty much done all except for the getting it painted. I was going to do, believe it or not, I was going to put a copper roof on this. And I kind of just decided at the last minute, no. It was going to cost about $60 just for the materials. And it would look cool, but let's face it, it would just be for YouTube likes, right? It ain't functional. Uh, they'll do just fine with just painted roofs. Just keep them painted. And if the paint wears off, put more paint on it and it'll last for forever that way that's the way wary hives are and some of them are you know 20 30 years old so that's kind of like the idea that i come up with very functional i'm going to go ahead and so the center is tall enough where i could put a quart jar in there for feeders or 
that sort of thing. I still have to cut out the um, the top cover board on the inside. But other than that, I'm going to get it painted and this is going to be good. We're going to put bees in it probably this coming week. Okay, so I created the follower board now. As you can see, there's like, it's a pretty tight fit in there. There's maybe a 32nd of an inch on each end. And uh, I made the actual board itself, the top part, taller than the frames. And I did that so that I could kind of index, like, for example, let's say that I got this in there like this. And then I want my follower board. I want to be able to tell where it's at. So then I could come out and do the rest of these right up against it. And I always know where my follower board is. So one other thing I want to do is I want to go and I'm going to measure about the center of 10 frames from like here over i'm going to find the center of 10 frames i'm going to put me a feeder hole here and one board and then also two uh, vent holes and i'm going to try to do that in a couple of places down through here the idea is i really don't want a whole lot of feeder holes i really only need one you probably need a couple of vents because moisture will get inside there it's got to be able to get out that sort of thing um for like the holding the roof open i just used a piece of stainless steel i got plenty of this stainless steel wire that i used to make frames with um i was trying to get an idea of how many frames this is going to hold and I've got 17 frames in it right now, and it goes just at about halfway. So I'm guessing probably about 34 frames, give or take, um, will be what this holds. Those are all deep frames, by the way. And uh, yeah, it turned out pretty good. Probably took me longer to get all the glue off of the outside than what it did to actually build it. Wasn't that hard, really. I mean, but I do woodworking, so got latches there. You can latch it down. This is what it looks like. Um, I did go ahead and put a landing board on there. Turned out pretty good. I made it wider, so instead of putting like a one landing board in front of each, I did it like this. The other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make it so I can close off two of these. Um... I'll, I'll just fix, probably I'll just take a board and make it so that you can just like fold it over and close that off. Raise it up if you want it open, fold it over, close it off on both ends. Or I probably could just stick some wire mesh or something in there. But yeah, this turned out really well. I still have to paint it. Here we are with the uh, first coat of paint on the outside. I'm going to be honest with you, I am not a painter. I'm really good at a lot of things. Painting is not one of them. Anybody who paints would be like, why are you swishing when you should be swashing? Like I just never, I was never good at painting. And I don't ever claim to be or try to fake it either. I painted over the buckles and everything like. bees aren't going to care anyways i still have to paint the inside i am making an attempt to actually paint under everything including the bottom because you know keeping this moisture free is going to make this hive last a long long time um i'll have to wait until the rest of the hive dries and flip it over in order to get down close to the very bottoms of it there but yeah pretty good by the way, this is called Oops Paint. Normally $50 a gallon. I got it for $19 a gallon because it was messed up in some way. But works fine for beehives. Most any place that sells paint, they always have an Oops Paint section. Go in and buy all the lightest colors you can find at a huge discount, which is great for beehives. 
I generally go with a mostly white exterior and sometimes I'll put a collar like on the landing board or on the roof or something just to make it a little bit different. But uh, that's the way I do them and I just, I always try to find like white, light colors of blue, light colors of yellow. And that's generally about my palette for bees that I like to use. Um, so anyways... Hope you've enjoyed this and uh won't be long we'll have bees in it.